what's up guys welcome back to the Heinz crypto channel thank you for tuning back in today i'm going to cover some of the potential speculation that's going around in the space why the market's dumping as hard as it is um is there some big players out there trying to get as much liquidity as they can let's read into it and uh, let's dig a little deeper and see what we can uncover so again welcome back guys Thank you for tuning in uh, if you would before we get started please hit that like button just show it a little love uh, show the little subscribe button some love down there too um, it really really goes a long way to help the channel out here but guys so you know as everybody knows after the FOMC meeting you know the, the markets kind of tanked even though we got good numbers right even though we got you know positive numbers you know we see inflation it's on a downtrend you know they're starting to cut back rates slowly even though you know Powell did say you know we're gonna have to continue tightening and stuff like that we're still seeing a decline which you know is good news right it's not you know a continuous 75 percent stuff like that you know we're starting to see the decline in inflation and that's a good thing for the market as a whole right but with all this ftx contagion that's been going on you know even positive news in the markets there's still people out there you know getting forced with liquidations um, this FTX debacle really put them in a bad place. So potentially, we're going to be covering something today. DCG, I know you know it's a big thing going around in the space right now. Why the markets are going down. So I want to talk about it a little bit with you guys. But starting off, we'll go over here to Rand's tweet. Um, he put out this: There's speculation that DCG is dumping assets based on based on below. It could mean two things. They are trying to pay repay the 1.5 billion dollar loan to Genesis. The loan may be recalled in case of a bankruptcy. Number two, they are entering Chapter 11. To do so, they must first exhaust all liquid assets. And if you look here, you know, it, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's not really a coincidence. You know, some of their biggest holdings are what fell really, really hard. You know, and on this list, I think Near Protocol isn't even on this list. Um, you know, I'm a big proponent of Near Protocol. And uh, they had a pretty big bag in near. Um, you know, I see this opportunity as a time to, you know, DCA and scoop some up. You know, they, you know, they always say, you know, you buy, buy the blood, sell the green, right? So, um, even though it could go lower, I'm still, you know, you got to think long term. And this could be good entry points into some of these coins if you do, you know, uh, have bags of these or are wanting to build bags of these, right? Um, it's risky because they could keep on dumping or you know, you never know this could start plateauing out and it could be a great time to enter Not financial advice by any means, but just my opinion But it's just interesting. So I got an article here. We'll pull up community fears DCG is selling as altcoins of value Tank massively and it's just strange how they all fell together I mean you could see coins outside of their portfolio. Yes, they went down, but they didn't take as hard of a hit, right? So let's read into it here uh, the crypto market experienced a massive sell-off in the last 24 hours. Several assets related to digital currency groups, DCG's Grayscale investment products like NEAR, Filecoin, ETC, etc. shed an average of over 10%, prompting fears that the firm was selling. And you can go, it goes on to say, according to CoinGecko, the, the crypto market fell by 5.4% over the reporting to $838 billion. Data from CoinGlass shows that $237 million was liquidated from the industry. Bitcoin declined about 4.3% to 16.7, while Ethereum saw 7.6% losses to trade at 11.80. In the last 24 hours, several DCG related assets like Filecoin, Near, ETC, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, etc., saw losses. Binance backed coins like BNB, Trust Wallet tokens, etc., also saw substantial red candles. Other altcoins like Algorand, Cardano, Chainlink, Avalanche, and Solana saw their values plummet rapidly during the sell-off so you know is this just speculation is it dcg you know because you do see coins outside of their portfolio also falling off you know it's just i think the market's looking for somebody to blame and uh you know dcg is just in the crosshairs right now because of all the turmoil that's been going on and they've been the center of attention there's a high percentage that it could be dcg but you know it could just be market sell-off market capitulation um you know as as the cycles do their thing right while it was unclear why the assets experienced a sudden sell-off during the period, the crypto market just experienced one of the most turbulent weeks in recent memories. FTX founder Sam bankman fried was arrested in the Bahamas on the order of the United States government. SBF was later denied bail because he was considered a flight risk. And it was funny, I seen a piece of news 
um, where they, they broke out, <laughs> you know, his medication list where they say he takes Adderall uh, every four hours and he takes Zyrtec and stuff like that. Um, he also presented in court in front of the judge that he needed to make bail because the prison could not meet his uh, meal requirements, right? His vegan meal requirements. So just such the biggest bullshit I've ever seen. You know, the guy's scared. The guy don't know what he's doing. Um, and in my opinion, he's the fall man for the bigger players, right? So there's a lot going on, man. There's a lot to uncover in this story, and it's just ever-changing. And, uh, you know, we're going to be hearing about it for the next good little while, in my opinion. Um, it goes on to say, the largest crypto exchange in the space, Binance, also experienced a surge in withdrawals following increased fears over its reserves. Being in crypto, which is the site that we're on right now, reported that the exchange experienced around $5 billion in withdrawals during the height of the run. You know, in my opinion, I think Binance is is fine, right? Um, you know, everybody's just in their feelings. Everybody is, you know, you know, on that trust, don't trust, verify everything, which is good, which is good. But, you know, it... You know, we got to zoom out and take a look. If Binance goes down, this could be one of the most catastrophic events in crypto history, right? FTX, yes, FTX was a big exchange and, you know, FTX was a big deal. But if Binance goes down, you know, it, it could change crypto forever, in my opinion. You know, there could be such a huge liquidity crisis going on that it might not recover. It might not recover. So, meanwhile, several crypto analysts have speculated that the current sell-off could be from Grayscale's, Grayscale's parent company, Digital Currency Group. Uh, the co-founder of Reflectivity Research, Will Clemente, tw tweeted that many speculators wonder whether the selling was derived from DCG itself. He added images of the price performance of some of these altcoins. So yeah, he just posts, you know, some analytics here. Several crypto coins related to Barry Silver's DCG have been selling off aggressively this evening. And he posts, you know, basically that all the charts that are linked together with the DCG portfolio saw that sharp sell off right around the same time, which is very interesting, very interesting in my opinion. Another analyst, Carl, said he would not be surprised if this sell off was a desperate attempt to liquidate what else they could before announcing bankruptcy. Uh, community concerns over DCG's financial status have grown following recent events in the space. Its crypto lending firm Genesis recently halted customer with withdrawals following the FTX collapse. There was so much stuff intermingled and intertwined with this whole FTX thing, man. I, I really got a feeling we're going to see some very, you know, just unsettling news in the coming months right there's going to be some stuff that gets uncovered with this that is going to blow our mind i have a strong gut feeling about that strong gut feeling uh, meanwhile the investment firm also revealed that it has a two billion dollar liability most of which is owned owed to genesis the fears have been further heightened over the increasing discount grayscale's bitcoin trust shares have been trading so let me know your opinion down below please comment down below i'd really love to see what you guys think about this um are you buying are you getting caught up in the flood and are you selling along with everybody else let me know down below let me know down below i think this is you know this could be a good opportunity to get in and buy some of the cryptos that you believe in that you want to trade and and hold long term if you're just looking for trade you got to make sure you're being very careful in these you know uncertain times as you know the markets could do anything at any given minute especially if you're losing, using leverage make sure you're careful make sure you use your stop loss and stuff like that but follow before we go shout out to our polo partner of the channel um they got some good christmas deals going on you can still um, take advantage of these christmas deals if you know anybody in crypto that mines or if you mine yourself perfect little christmas gift uh the, you know the prices are pretty good right now um and it's a perfect time to Get them, put them in a stocking, put them under the tree, do what you want to do. Um, there will be a link down in the description and pinned comment if you want to use, uh, if you want to partake in the iPolo sales. Great miners, very easy to use. I also have another video on my channel. I'll link it up in the top right up here um, that shows you how to hook them up step by step. And, uh, you know, just very user friendly for somebody just starting mining. Or if you've been in mining a while, they're also good for that too. But guys, that's all I got. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like and subscribe on the way out. And we will see you on the next one.